So we just had a bit of excitement. Uh, we had a grocery cart full of groceries. Uh, we parked on a hill. Mm. We pushed the cart to the back of the car. We're in the car today. Say, don't say me. We. No, I didn't. I did oh. not have my hands you, on the buggy. Oh, okay. Unless you got a rat in your well, pocket. Well, you, we both knew we were on a hill. Wait, look, look. How are you going to somehow know? That Some you share the blame in no, this. You no, were there. Fifty nope. percent of it nope. was yours. Nope. Nope. So we. Both know we were on a hill. <clears throat> I parked the buggy, yeah, and I, I leaned into the car, assuming she would hold on to the buggy. And uh, that was your first mistake, assuming. Right. I made an ass out of me and me. And uh, then I hear, "Oh, Brad!" And then I see my wife take off running, and I'm looking around to see if I should run. Maybe there's a fire, an explosion. I don't know. Yeah, like I'm gonna catch it. That that was my my first mistake thinking. I could chase a buggy full of eggs yeah. and soda and two gigantic chuck roast. Yeah. So the cart, I think you know the rest of the story. Down the hill, across the parking lot, with a 65-year-old, gray-haired little old lady running after it. <laughs> yeah, that, well, I, I know. In my mind, I was actually going to catch that cart. And, uh... This, thank God it was a plastic cart. It hits, it smashes into the side of the pickup truck, falls over, and how many eggs? 36 eggs? Yeah, yeah, yeah 36, 36 eggs. eggs. <laughs> uh, all uh, over the concrete. Uh, I picked them up, just so you know. I picked them up. And, um, yes, it was excellent. It was exciting. It was an catastrophe. That was, that was funny. Anyway, it was all her fault. That's that's all I wanted to say. Have a nice day. I'm recording your bag lady look. Well, don't. This is winter bag lady. I'm putting on sweatpants and sweatshop shirts to go cover my plants. Okay, you're in your nightgown. I was. And then under that, you wear sweatpants. And a sweatshirt. And a sweatshirt. Because I have to go outside and it's below 65. Oh, be still my heart. And <laughs> the wind is blowing, so that's another 5 or 10 degrees off. You're going to start a new trend. Bag lady chic. Yeah, I'm not one of those that ever wears That's a fashion statement. I'm in that age where I just want to feel comfortable. Okay. Yep. Four more days. Your birthday's in four more days. Oh, boy. Another love, year older. I love it the way you keep reminding me. You know we don't do birthdays. Come on, you can eat. Come on. I've been worried about you. It's been real cold. I wish there was a way I could fix you up somewhere warm to get, but you won't get in it. Come on, kitty, kitty. Come on, eat. Come on. You're a pretty kitty. You're eight years old now. That's how long you've been hanging around here. You don't belong to anybody. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. All right, I'm gonna go in and leave you alone. Oh, I got a shot of that pretty face. Come on, kitty, kitty. Come on. Come on. Come on. You, you've come down here a couple times and ate. Okay. I'm going to leave you alone. I'm just glad you're okay. There she is.
she is. Can you see her? Well, at least she's still alive. And uh, I do have a cat door in uh, one of my sheds. And I don't know if she's getting in there or not. It would be, that's the reason I haven't blocked it off is because uh, even though possibly some other animal could get in there, I want to leave the door there just in case she gets in and out. If I knew she was getting in and out of there, I'd put her a cat bed out there. But anyway, at least she's eating a really good meal every day.